Hello and welcome to another episode of Photography Out Loud. I think we'd probably need to sort out that intro at some point. Yeah. It's very kind yeah, of abrupt up yeah. on the uh, black <laughs> screen and it's like, well, what's Here happening we are. next? Yeah, no, definitely. My name is Paul Davis and as always, I'm with my colleague Joel Longbone. How are you doing today, Hello. bud? You all right? Yeah, I'm good. You? Yeah, it's been... It's uh, not like I haven't seen you all day. No, but it's just part of it, isn't it? You know, spent the, the yeah. the same how room. are you? I mean, I'm asking how you are, so everyone at home knows how you are. I'm so. tip top, marvelous. Thank you. Yeah, tip top, lad. Tip top. And, and if, <laughs> well, you can't really whinge because nobody would care anyway, would they? No. Well, I ah, get on with it, lad. People, people are less, um, Yeah, people do actually <laughs> listen to us. So <laughs> I, I think that's that's not true. I think they just get bots to type things <laughs> yeah. on here. Well, if you're a bot or a human, please, <laughs> a human being, please let us know that you're watching live. It's always uh, nice to know that you're following and us. And anything in between. And anything in between. <laughs> like Android. Yep, they are welcome here as well. Yeah. We're getting down the Star Trek route at this point. Yeah, certainly are, certainly are, yeah. I'm not uh, yeah. into Star Trek. Please, uh, let's see. Oh, we've got uh, Anne. Hello, Anne. And, Hello, Anne. Uh, David. Oh, we've got to be careful with David this week. Oh, we've got, oh we've yeah. Got, uh, oh, no. A lot of technical stuff to oh, get through. No. <laughs> you may as well just put we're wrong now, David. Um, I have told Paul, I haven't checked the presentation. So hopefully the MDs and the GBs are correctly yep. uppercase, lowercase. If, if there's, <laughs> yeah. and Because I, I said, and I'm not lying, I said to Paul, <laughs> Right, if David's on, <laughs> you've got to be careful to make sure that everything is bang on because David will tell you your MBs are incorrect. So look at smart media. Smart media. <laughs> <laughs> Just wafer thin. They were great for that. They, they were, were wafer thin, no smart media cards. Yeah. <laughs> but almost the size of a credit card. <laughs> yes, uh, today. Hello, Sarah on YouTube. Uh, yes, hello, and uh, hello to uh, other Dave as well. So Dave Hepworth joining us. So yeah, I don't know. I I don't think my I'm gonna let mine grow much longer than this. No, I I I need to probably go and <laughs> see somebody about it. What a gardener <laughs> <laughs> with a chainsaw. Oh dear me, um, three and a half volt or five volt. Oh my life. <laughs> I'll just put that oh. comment in there because we do get people watching on, on YouTube as well. So yeah, no, like, uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. So we need to remember just to pop the comments uh, true, just on true. there as well. So uh, yes, if you haven't have guessed already, <clears throat> we uh, today we are going to be talking about uh, the memory cards that are on the market today. So Yes, today. Yeah, then we'd love to discuss about <laughs> all the previous memory cards. Maybe we Ooh, can add that on to the XD? end. XD, Ooh, yeah, by Olympus and Fuji. That's yes. quite good. They were quite small. So as as we go down memory lane, I mean, we were talking about uh, uh, about smart media and XD. Both of those were fairly exclusive yeah. to the Fujifilm system. And micro drives, micro drives before compact flash. Yeah, and yeah. Then being able to put it next to your ear and it would whir like a hard drive yeah. in your computer. The young kids won't even know what a hard <laughs> drive is, let alone what a micro drive is. I remember yeah. taking one apart once. That was quite fun. It literally was like like a miniature hard drive. Yeah, it would have been. It's quite cool. Yeah. If you're into that sort of thing. Yeah. I, I suppose I, there's, 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 I guess there's not as much fun taking some of these new things. Uh, no, they're boring. They're just green and yeah. gold. But they are solid state. They are. So very solid. Very difficult to break. Well, very fast, especially. Oh, you've not got one. The tough cards and the Delkin black cards. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've got. A, XQD here or yeah. CF Express, which are super reliable and uh, very, very robust as well. But we'll get to that. <laughs> I feel like we should try that out in one video. Yeah, just a variety of ways of destroying memory cards. Yeah. Going from the simple throw all the way through to using black powder. Yeah. Shotgun. Yeah, and see how it goes. Car. Yeah, let us know if anybody you want owns a tank. To, we want to run tank. over a memory yeah. card with a tank. And uh, I, I don't know if we should say this stuff on the internet, but wherever we can get some black powder from. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, we shouldn't say that. <laughs> it's not. live. <laughs> Simply for these, nothing else, <laughs> nothing yeah. untoward. Hello, uh, Johnny Mo. Yes. So today we are going to be talking through memory cards. So uh, we are. We've got a selection here. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the selection that we have in front of us as well. Um, we and wanted we have a PowerPoint for our keynote presentation. Key, keynote, yeah. We went all fancy. <laughs> Paul, I haven't Paul added Paul. in my tr uh, transitions or anything. Though. Oh, They're just good. <laughs> it's like when somebody first finds PowerPoint, it's like, 
word art whizzing in and doing I love five it. different things. Oh, I, I think it's brilliant. It. Clip art awful. <laughs> makes me want to cry. And then people use Comic Sans. No, <laughs> well, no yeah, to Comic Sans. I'll, I'll agree with you there. Oh, not Comic Sans. <laughs> Giving nightmares. So um, there are probably five different types of popular cards on the market now, I would say, or the five current types mm -hmm. of memory cards on the market. Right. Yeah. Um, we class micro SD and SD as the same type of thing. Um, is that a separate one to itself? Well, you could go from five to six at that point if you wanted yeah. to. So, but uh, yeah, I mean the uh, <clears throat> the five most common types uh, that we uh, that we see. Um, Everybody's so, going down memory lane. But Gary is talking about disco USB. Oh yeah, 128 meg. That was that was large back in the day, wasn't I've, it? I've cut your head out here, Joel, and yeah. mine. There that's we go. Useful. There we go. That's better. Um, so uh, typically, the most uh, popular memory card sort of on the market at the moment <coughs> is that we have uh, we have SD memory cards, secure digital, secure digital. Um, we have the compact flash, CF, CF. Yep. And then it's we funny how we always refer to compact flash as compact flash, and then we but never secure digital. No, we SD. use SD for that. Yeah. And then um, there was a there was a brief sort of section with uh, using what they call CFast cards, yeah. which look a lot like <clears throat> a uh, a compact flash card. Yeah. And once again, the name can get a little bit confusing because it's, like it's VHS like, and Betamax. They tried to fight and yeah, lost out. And it doesn't help that you know it's like CF asked as well. Yeah, so like they they're still trying to keep the name, but they were trying bless them. Yeah. But it is a completely different card as well, what you've got to remember as well. <clears throat> and then uh, we're starting to see uh, the popularity grow with things like XQ key, uh, XQD cards uh, and CF Express cards as well. But we'll be talking uh, through all of that with you. <clears throat> um, what we wanted to start with um, is the capacities on what you'll get on different sort of memory cards so you know starting from sort of uh, 128 megabytes back in the day yeah yeah i mean we've got gigabytes on the screen at the moment but and now uh, you can go up to two terabytes you can yeah that is a lot and the capacity would uh, would be the same for any card that you can buy on the market as well. Yeah. So, you know, what we're going to go across with uh, with these particular memory cards. It's is... like 128, um, 64, 128, and 256 are probably. I'd say they're definitely the most, most popular common. now. And, and uh, great price points on the whole. Because, uh, uh, because you can, they're made a lot more as well. Yeah. So, um, especially SD. Yeah, SD memory cards. So, like <laughs> things like 64. Uh, 128 and 256 like yeah. you said Joel that they're made on such a big level is that they're probably the most cost effective to buy yeah, as well so I think between 64 and 128 is probably about the point isn't it like where you get yeah the most, most for bang money. for your buck sort yeah. of thing as, as it were per gigabyte <laughs> yeah. or, well it's actually probably less than a pound per gigabyte isn't it really on the whole yeah most of the time and uh, what your capacity <clears throat> would actually determine is how many pictures that you're going to store on your camera or or video yeah yeah <laughs> no word documents no excel spreadsheets <laughs> let's not talk about excel spreadsheets so um, subject for the uk yeah <laughs> uh, we did uh, we did a quick comparison and we did a rough average across the board and we found that uh, the average jpeg across the board is about two he megabytes spent all of today I did. <laughs> taking pictures on every camera in did. the shop he didn't really. That's a lie. Um, so something <clears throat> on like a 128 gigabyte, uh, you would get over 60,000 photographs. An awful lot of it's pictures an awful lot of your cat. Yeah. <laughs> or your dog. Yeah. Or if you're doing sports or wildlife, you know, you would you would potentially need a, a bigger yeah. card. Oof. That's a lot of pictures, though, isn't it? It's more about the raw, though, isn't it? You would be looking at your raw photos, so uh, you would need to check uh, what size your uh, you're shooting GFX or uh, A7R4. Yeah, well, like we saw hundred mega. Yeah, yeah, we saw a, an Im, an image off an A seven R four, wasn't it, in RAW, and it was um, and it was a hundred meg, wasn't yeah, it? It's was slightly high, wasn't it? Yeah, like one twenty five. So it? you can imagine, uh, you know, the, the amount of storage that you'd need for cameras like that. Uh, and then when it comes to video as well, so if you're using uh, the standard HD video or 1080p, full 1080p, uh, 
it's roughly working out about 30 megabytes per second. So depending on the quality. Uh, so you'd get roughly around the five hours on 128, uh, 128 gigabyte card. That's a lot of your uh, birthday party and cake, <laughs> isn't it? Five hours is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't want to sit down and watch something for five hours, would you? So uh, I don't know. It's like the director's version of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Could you, oh, no. yeah, we can. yeah, watch watching that there, um, and then obviously we're looking at the uh, we're looking at SD cards at the moment, yeah. and now with SD, what you'll find is that with the more modern cards, this doesn't really apply. But when it comes to the SD cards, uh, because they've been around for so long, the granddaddy, um, yeah. Well, actually, no, that's not true, is it? They're the, okay. Let's go. SD is a granddaddy. And CF is the great granddaddy. Yeah. Because CF's yeah. been around for donkey. It has, but it's always sort of worked. It's always been able to keep up with the Except the for when you let out. nonsense, detritus, getting either on the card yeah. or on the pins. How many times have you seen bent pins come into the shop and you've had to get a screwdriver and wiggle around to try and yeah. get it to bend the back into uh, the correct place. And I think almost as well is that's why we're starting to see a move across onto, <coughs> uh, onto, onto different sort of types of media you as well. don't get that issue of SD cards, do you? No, you certainly don't. Um, and uh, because of this, what you'll find is that um, <coughs> there's different types of SD cards. So there is the standard SD, which will hold uh, up to two gigabytes. But just to point out that the size, the physical size of the card does not change. Does does stay the same. Yeah, it does the stay tough the ones same. get slightly thicker. Yeah, but there's but no actual. They'll still go difference. into the slot, won't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and they've got pins on the back. We'll get onto that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm ruining your presentation. <laughs> no, it's all right. <laughs> um, and then you've got SDHC. And then you've got SDXC as well. And this would purely come down to uh, what type of uh, card your camera will take. So typically what you'll find is that the older cards um, on the market, they may not be compatible with the latest SDXC yeah. cards. Yeah, that's, um, that's, that's the only common real issue, reason. isn't it? When people, some people, like their cameras last them like five, seven years. Yeah. And they come in and go, I need a new memory card. And you look at it and go, yeah, don't really do very many uh, two gig cards that's going to fit yeah. that camera. Or on. what was what we're seeing a lot of now is that uh, once again, if from five or six years ago, they'll only go up to SDHC, yeah. which means that you're limited to to only having a uh, up to a thirty two yeah. gig card. Which is not too bad. No, you could still easily get sixteen or thirty two gig cards. But all cameras that you can buy on the market today are taking uh, SDXC, yeah. so uh, you're able to. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen? Andy Yates. Yes, Andy. <laughs> do you still need a free... Yes, you, you do if you want to send them in to us. But for those of you who can get to us in the shop, you don't need to. I think he's referring to film. Back ah, in right, the day. okay, yeah. We yeah back in that. the day. Yeah, we were talking so, about that before, the little envelopes uh, that, you can, uh, that you can get. Um, we do still have people who think that their cameras still use film. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you kind of go. Uh, there's definitely not filming that one. <laughs> no, it definitely takes a memory card. Ah, <laughs> oh, the good old days of film. Although film is very popular still, it's coming back. In fashion. It is, and we sell it and develop it and print it. Now, have so we got it? Have we got it in stock now? Though we have quite was... a lot of um, film back in stock now, even in color. Yeah, because so moved it... into the modern era. Yeah, because <laughs> we just for a while back we only had black and white, didn't we? Yeah. In almost everything, yeah, you get to color, and our distributor was just on order of manufacture. Yeah. <laughs> There's no color whatsoever, so the world went black and white for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> now it's rainbow colored. <laughs> oh, dearie me! Um, yes, so uh, back onto memory cards because yeah. <laughs> I think way. I think we could talk about film <laughs> all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, I think we could honestly talk about film all day because it is Good. one of a very interesting we should subject. Do that, shouldn't we? Yeah. Maybe we should do a little an episode on yeah, film or a, a series. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could develop it, but we'd need lights to actually uh... infrared. Okay. Mm. Yeah, let's put a pin in that one. Ooh. That might be a might be a first for a live. <laughs> if we can do it on uh, infrared. <laughs> 
Um, so one of the things that is sometimes very difficult to understand when it comes to looking at uh, all memory cards is uh, something called the read-write speed. Yes. So <clears throat> this is probably one of the most confusing things, it's, but when yeah. you understand it, it can be Along with capacity, simple. which is pretty simple, like the higher the number, the more pictures you can store. Yeah. Then, but then, like, it's just one figure. There's no mess in it. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, you can get into the technical side of the fact that you don't actually get 128 gig. It's a bit less. But that's a whole kind of just computery jargony nonsense thing. Yeah. But the read write speed, you always see speeds written on cards. You do. But it's almost always <laughs> the read speed, yeah. which is what confuses most people. And if we're honest, this is probably one of the reasons we wanted to do this video was because we get a lot of people coming to the shop and they're just perplexed. I had a guy on the phone a while back and we had probably 15, 20 minute phone call about which memory card he should have. Yeah. Just based on those numbers because he didn't understand the numbers. And it was it was understandable that he didn't understand the numbers because... There's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what does as, it as, even mean? As we'll go through. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, read-write speeds are probably the one that you most need to care about. Yeah. Because it normally informs everything else. Yeah, no, it certainly will. And it's, it's measured in uh, megabytes per second. Am I right? Might be. Or was it megabit? Megabits, megabytes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Just wait for David to uh, yep. pipe up. Um, big M, big B. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not big M, little B. And uh, as we discussed from before, you know, so if you're shooting a, uh, a, a normal JPEG image or an average JPEG image, uh, this is going to be around the two meg size. Uh, so if we're talking, so uh, if we can, once again, on this particular card that we're looking at, um, if we're looking at 100 megabytes, we can transfer 50 of these uh, across in, in a second. Theoretically. Theoretically. That's the maximum it can do. With everything in life, as it seems, the numbers are never as they seem. Yeah. So whenever we talk about read-write speeds, these are theoretically the top speed. Just like your yeah. car has... 160 miles per hour on the speedometer. It's not doing that all the time. We advise you not to be trying to figure out if that's <laughs> the theoretical or the realistic speed. Um, but quite often you won't get all the way around to no. that, even on a long straight, just everything's against you to get to that speed. So understand that the maths won't quite stack up if you're into that sort of thing. Yep. So. Um, and also as well is that once again, a little bit more confusing with the SD card side of things as well, is that uh, there's, again, another generation that came out um, to, to help with the increasing the speed that is achievable. Uh, and this is uh, essentially called uh, UHS. <clears throat> so we have then uh, sort of segmented down <clears throat> into uh, two different types of UHS modes. UHSI. UHS I and UHS two eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and Do you reckon um, the Romans are laughing at us. Probably. With, with their numbering system. Yeah. Okay. They just keep using all these funny things. And essentially, like having two eyes, you can see twice as much. I don't think it works like that, but <laughs> well, no, because on the screen it says 104 <laughs> versus 312, which is more like three times. Yeah. So, so three eyes are better than two. <laughs> and two are better than one. Apparently so. <laughs> the back of an SD card in five years' time is just going to have four just rows might of have, pins. <laughs> just might have more. So essentially, the, this is a physical difference. Uh, so you would actually see a physical difference <clears throat> on the back of your SD card. So uh, UH, UHS-1 has a uh, single line of pins. Just like they have done for yep. since the beginning. Uh, and UHS-2 has uh, two, two rows two rows of pins. It's almost like they were trying to tell you something. <laughs> yeah. In UHS and it wasn't that it was two, two or three times faster. <laughs> but just a quick note here is that UHS-1 and UHS-2 will both read and write in whatever card slot on your camera or yeah. on your um, card reader, but it won't take advantage necessarily of the second strip. So... If you're using an older camera that's only UHS-1 compatible, it'll still read your UHS-2 card, still write to it, read it, whatever, but it won't be at that. It'll be at the 104 yes. rather than 312, 
So that's an, an important to understand. So you don't have to worry about it if you don't care about it. But if you've bought an A7 III, yep. for instance, um, where the first slot is UHS-2 and the second slot is UHS-1, you can't expect that both of them to go as so much as each other. Yeah. And if you were going to do film or video, uh, film or um, lots of burst shooting, that the speed would be... Yeah, you'd want to use the uh, UHS, first slot yeah. in, in that particular card, isn't it? So, um, yeah, no, and... Once again, uh, with the uh, with the SD memory cards, there is one last final thing that just sort of <laughs> sets everything. It's, it's what happens, though, isn't it, when a technology survives for this long? Yeah, because it is very good. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, it's they're they're a nice size. So as you can, it's very they're not quite as see. Uh, easy to lose as yeah the micro the micro SD. SDs. <laughs> Uh, but they're lovely small. Um, obviously, there's that... nothing really to break, apart from sometimes the little separators break. Yeah, but it'll still work if the separators. And I, I think break. Um, don't try and break it. Yeah, it will break. That that one will. <laughs> yeah, that's going like that card. Anyway. <laughs> but it's uh, you know you can you can chuck them down on the table and nothing's really yeah. going to happen and stuff. And, and obviously um, not have obviously keeping it clean is very important. Yeah, but it's not like a compact flash card where if you got something in the hole, it bend the pin or just stop working. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're more likely to, if that drops in water, hopefully not salt water, or drops on sand and you can clean it enough, it'll probably survive. Yeah. Whereas compact flash might. No, that would be, that'd be very difficult. <laughs> Juggle to do a bit more because you'd have to wait a long time for it to dry out. So the, <clears throat> the final thing on. Um, oh, look at that. I know it's a chart. That's a beautiful a chart. diagram. Isn't yeah. It? I stole it off the internet. Of course Sorry. you did. Um, so, <laughs> um, with uh, the final thing that you need to look at with a <coughs> SD card is something called speed class. Now, really, I would say this only starts to apply for people that are using it for video, uh, because I think obviously with stills, it doesn't need the just uh, takes the, to write. the speed. Whereas uh, a video, it has to. It's essentially like lots of pictures, isn't it? Yeah, and if it hits its buffer. You're gonna then have you're going to get stuttering, or it just won't record, or your audio will drop out. So the reason why speed class is so important is that it has to keep up with the amount of data you're giving yeah. it. So and it's also an easier way of potentially looking out what uh, what card is best for your camera as well. Yeah. So obviously, every manufacturer uses a different type of <clears throat> uh, different type of. Uh, uh mark read yeah sorry uh no read write speed yeah. they're like always they, different numbers aren't yeah, they yeah like but, these ones often will quote the the read speed without yes. showing you the right speed exactly but the class speed classes help you know there's a minimum yeah there is and you know <clears> that um for instance uh so I'll, I'll bring them up in a second but you can um so that like the class 10 is going to be absolutely fine for stills. Yep. So anything above the class 10 is absolutely fine. And then when you look at the new way that they've uh, structured it, so it, they have a V in front of them. Essentially for video. For video. Yep. Um, so <laughs> it's not five. It's not Roman numeral five. <laughs> so, <laughs> so things like the uh, the V30 is gonna is gonna do some 4K. Yep. And all of hate, full HD, sure. and then you've got things like V60, uh, which is definitely <coughs> supports 4K, and then V90, which is going up Ooh. onto things like, uh, well, touching on 8K. Yeah. But it's it's dependent at that point on bitrate, isn't it? It is, which yeah. is not what we want to touch on in this. Because if you need to know that sort of stuff, then you probably already know about it, um, or you can ask us in the comments, and we'll explain. Um, We'll get to that in a minute, David. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, so you've got your you've got your speed of class uh, that just helps you uh, sort Gives of you an decide, indicator. yeah, into which card is potentially <clears throat> best for. Your it's also camera. quite useful if you don't want to try and figure out what all the other numbers mean, yeah. or you can't see it very easily. But you know, oh, that's a V ninety card or a V sixty, and you'd be like, okay, yeah, it's going to be it's almost definitely going to be one of the fastest cards you can buy yep um and it will have that sustained speed ability and then you can for. just ignore the rest of the numbers then yeah. at that point and knowing that it can and will keep up with 
any files that you chuck so in. So it's, it's a way of trying to keep the manufacturers in check on their numbers. Yeah. It kind of it helps you understand, that, okay, they're all pretty much going to be able to achieve the minimum of what you need. The maximum is up to them as to what they display and then real world tests and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. It's a big difference. But. So, and uh, S, S, yeah, so SD is, you know, <clears throat> one of the, the biggest cards to explain. Um, so hopefully we've explained SD. Uh, if you've got any questions, put them in and we'll get to things like David Yeoman said about the high speed burst and buffering, which we'll get to yep. after all the other cards. Yeah. But if yep. you've got any questions, pop them down. And we'll figure it out. So a, a lot of the other cards now, um, so things like the uh, the compact flash cards, uh, we are potentially starting to see the end of compact flash now. I would say should have put a sad emoji on the screen at that yeah. point. Oh, have I? One. No, I <laughs> no, I should have done <laughs> doing a spin. Uh, so so compact flash, I would <clears throat> I would say is probably. Uh, probably on the way out now. It's, uh, I mean, they're still producing them, uh, but we're we're seeing a lot of sort of other cards come into it. And obviously, Compact Flash was designed uh, for uh, the professional cameras, and a lot of the newer professional cameras are moving away uh, from from this. And I think once again, it's a limitation into what speeds that they can actually achieve. Yeah. So um, the Compact <laughs> Flash use a. Uh, Use an ultra direct memory access way of. Uh, they love using their uh, acronyms. They, they? they certainly do, yeah. And um, you can achieve, which is still very fast, I would say, 166 megabytes per second. So it's still pretty quick, but you're starting to hit the limit of, uh, you know, potentially Just the physical capability, yeah, physical the capability technology that's uh, capable probably of at least like 15 years old. Somebody will tell me wrong. I should look it up <laughs> on Wikipedia because Wikipedia yeah. is the knower of everything. Uh, so um, you would, you know, um, obviously, if a camera is accepting a compact flash card, you won't have any issues because yeah. it's been designed to take that card. So it's just probably in the future Ooh, we're going to 1994. start. 1994. That's old. What did you say? 15 years? Yeah. Yeah. So you went far out, were you? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit older than that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. They don't look at me for maths. It's, not it's as bad to as my English. <laughs> it's closer to 25 years, 26 years, isn't it? So uh, Somebody's going to tell me my maths is wrong. Yeah. Sure it's not. <laughs> So, so what you're seeing on um, what you're seeing on the Compact Flash is that they're still they're still available. Uh, you can still get a hold of them, but I think eventually you'll start to see them sort of whittle away. Yeah, but there'll be millions of them available. Yeah, but there certainly will be. <laughs> so some. don't worry, Anne. Yes, uh, I'm sure. I'm sure you'll still be able to get them before your one DX dies. Yeah, yeah, even though you've chucked it in water and all sorts. <laughs> and and then um, there was a. A brief dip in the water to a new type of card, um, which was uh, once again CFast. Yes, you spoke about that briefly earlier, didn't you? Yeah. So um, what you have is uh, essentially a card that looks the same as um, as a compact flash, but uh, doesn't take pins. It, it sort of uses the same sort of slotting system as you find on an XQD card, um, <coughs> and it enables us to have. Uh, stupidly fast sort of speeds. So uh, I'll have to look at this. So uh, 525 megabytes per second. Uh, yeah, <laughs> pass me my glasses. Um, <laughs> so once again, they, they broke that barrier <clears throat> of uh, potentially uh, breaking through and doing it. But I think one of the main reasons, it's quite a big card. Yeah. So I, I think they needed <clears throat> to, to come away from uh, using, uh, using a big <clears throat> card. Because the other thing is that you know, not often thought about is the whole what actually is going on inside and the heat of it and things like that. Because the problem is when you start having faster speeds, yes, if you can't get rid of that heat, you start running into a lot of issues. And that's a massive issue with things like 4K and 8K at ridiculous bits per second. Indeed. Where you're shoving a lot of data through every second and that's just a lot of heat. Um, and so physical shapes of cards, like the Compact flash card was never intended to do that. 
do what it can do now. Really, exactly. Which yeah. is quite amazing that it can do what it can do. So. And uh, this card was available for one camera. It was available for several camcorders. So I think and it's like main. Yeah. So there was. Video stuff. It was, uh, I don't know, C300 Canon. type series sure. and, and stuff like that took the card. Um, but uh, as far as cameras are concerned, it, it went in the 1DX Mark II as well. So um, it had a little blip. They're still available. Uh, you can still it's get still them. still available from us. Yeah. So if you're needing one of these cards, uh, we do stock them. Buy which... one now before it becomes an antique. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what I looked at uh, before, though, for the for the speed and uh, the capacity that you're getting is still you know cheaper than going into the more modern cards as well. So it's, it's not, not like very you... difficult with XQD, <laughs> is it? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I've um, actually not ended up selling cameras because of that. Yeah, I know. I had somebody they are go from a, a Z6 to a R or RP just because of the it memory card. It took SD, <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, um, and uh, so the 1DX, I believe, takes Compact Flash. The 1DX Mark II takes the CFast card. And the 1DX3, mate, uh, takes, takes uh, CF Express. Ooh. Um, which one? It, what do you mean, which one? Ah. All the things <laughs> you're trying to trick me. Uh, so um, what you'll find, uh, y your next type of card that is available is uh, your CF Express <coughs> and XQD. Uh, but we did see uh, XQD hit the market before CF Express. We did. So, and... Because Sony made it for Nikon. Yeah, yeah, which makes and now they've a said, load of sense. Yeah, and now they've said they're not going to nope. do it anymore. They're using it's CF like... Express in their yeah. cards. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Z6 II and Z7 II. Uh, Did they confirm that? I can't remember. Yeah, no, they. Uh, so that that will use uh, XQD and CF Express oh. in those as well. But we haven't had that information through from Nikon yet. Oh, so okay. uh, we're still waiting for the full Should full I release think? of uh, of of that particular camera. But yeah, XQD. Uh, it's it's starting to become a popular name. Some people have heard of it. Uh, it is a different physical size than any other card, so it sits in between a uh, sits in between a compact flash card uh, and an SD card as far as physical size wise is concerned, um, and uh, it's specifically made uh, really to go into the uh, into the Nikon system. So we started seeing this memory card in the D five hundred, D five also works in the D six. The Z, new Z series use XQD as well. Um, but the new kid on the block, which is CF Express. Which can, does come in different types. Which does come in different types. Three. A, B, and C. A, B, and C. But yep. we're only going to talk about A and B. We are. Yeah. <laughs> so what you find is It is true because uh, uh, Andrew Howe says that CF Express has lots of types. It does. And almost as confusing as USB. That is true because yeah. when we get people coming in for cables or cameras, yes, and trying because they went through a stage of proprietary ones, didn't they? Well, those like Panasonic used a different one to Nikon, and one was a half moon and all sorts. So, yeah, it is becoming it's, like that, isn't it's it? It's starting to get confusing again. Whereas SD never had that issue. Yeah, <laughs> the biggest thing you have to worry about SD is whether it's U UHS one or UHS two. Yeah, yeah, and I think. Um, what we're probably going to see, I'm not too sure, but a lot of cameras start to use maybe the A type. Well, um, the, the smaller size makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Although you do miss out on the speed advantage. Yeah. Because there's a bit of a jump in speed by There's double. a massive jump in speed. Is it double? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because it uses, I won't go too One lane and yeah. not two lanes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and type two. C takes it to four lanes. It's like <laughs> discussing motorways and expressways. And... So, yeah, but type C is what's used in computer solid state drives. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's. Wizzy, wizzy, zoom, zoom. Wizzy, wizzy, zoom, zoom. I was sp speaking in your language. Though. Thank you. I understood. Twisty, that. twisty, slidey, slidey. <laughs> um, likey, likey, subscribe, subscribe <laughs> me. <laughs> So, Definitely going to make a T-shirt with that. Uh, there's going to be, isn't there? So what you'll find is that there are uh, three types, so A, B, and C. Uh, it's only recently that we've seen the A type appear. So uh, a lot <clears> of them, <throat> if they've been labeled CF Express, uh, is normally the B type. I think going forward, uh, they are actually labeling them B type now. 
so I can Let's actually look. type B. Type B. So I can see on on the memory card and also on the packaging as well. I'll hold it up, not like you can see it. Look at that. Theoretically, a thousand megabytes. So these have been designed to be ultra quick, ultra fast. So you know, no matter what you throw at them, as far as capacity is concerned, until we get to thirty-two k. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> then it'll be like sending a letter to China. So um, yeah, it's. Uh, uh, <laughs> it'll take, take a long time. It wouldn't take a long time. <laughs> it took you a long time. It took to me a long time. Um, <laughs> so uh, yes. Hello, Alex. Good to see you earlier. Yep. I only saw him for a brief second, that's and that's true. how much I saw him for. Yeah. <laughs> Just like I went, nah. um, So, yes, ultimately, uh, we're going to be seeing, I think the future is going to be in CF Express. Uh, we're <clears> going to see a lot of I'll it. I'll be sad when SD cards completely go. I think they'll always be there. Yeah. But and the I think it might be SD. And but I don't think they're ever going to be able to get that much speed in something that small for a while. Yeah. Because see if express is going to kind of take that and once again uh so a a type is physically the same size as uh, an sd card i haven't got an a type with me here um but i have got an sd card and they they're pretty much bang for bang size uh and it's why the new sony went for using uh cf express a in, in their the car three in the s3 because not only can you put a cf express a you could also use the slot as a uh, SD card slot as well. So they've put See, the pins clever. in for both. And you very, didn't very expect clever. that from Sony, did you? <laughs> Back in the day. Oh, that's one. Memory stick. Memory, yeah. Do you remember wow. memory stick? Yeah. The only cameras were Sony cameras, and they were extortionately expensive. Yeah, and it's just generally difficult to get a hold of yes, as well. So. Nice colour, though. Yeah. Funky um, purple. Shall we hit some of the questions? Ooh, let's. See if we can answer some things. We're going to go backwards or forwards, whichever way you want. Side to side. Um, beard review. <laughs> Paul, eight out of ten. J Dog, five out of ten. <laughs> That's always going to be true, though. But at least it's five. That's fifty percent. That's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Craig. Um, hello, Dave uh, Metcalf. Um, Oh, so you use a SanDisk. Yeah, SanDisk are a great brand. Um, we like Lexar and Sony and Delkin. Um, those are the ones that we mainly use. I use a mixture of Panasonic, Lexar, and Sony at the moment. Yeah. In memory. And um, I think it's mainly, it's just, I think we found Lexar very stable to get a hold of. Yeah. Uh, it's very easy to get a hold of <clears throat> Lexar, so we could we could always have stuff in stock for whenever you needed it. And uh, it's the same with uh, Delkin and yeah. some of the Sony cards. And unfortunately, SanDisk is one of the most. Well, we may as well touch on it now. Yeah. Like SanDisk are one of the most faked brands. They are memory cards. So if you're not buying SD cards from your favorite camera shop, then make sure you're careful when you do buy memory cards because there are quite a lot of fakes on the market. Yeah. And it's one of the reasons that we've kind of not gone down the Sandisk group. I think so. Because yeah. it's just difficult to keep up with the prices when they're selling them as fakes. Yeah. So the thing with memory is most of them are made in the same factory. Yes. <laughs> they're just rebranded and restickered. But equally, some of them are not very good quality. Um, so just be aware of that and they're not by uh, labeled correctly and the speeds aren't true so you might not actually be getting what you buy yeah so you might buy a really expensive sd card and it's actually like some crappy eight gig card that's like yeah. 10 megabits per second like it's just i, I mean it it might not be but yeah. there is but just just buy from someone reputable yeah and don't think just go for the deal um what else was we going to speak about oh formatting um, formatting is one of those things, lots of myths around it. Make your own mind up, you can read. Yep. But we definitely recommend that if you've got a few cameras, like um, I've got Fuji and Sony and Olympus, and I always format my cards when I swap between the two. Yes. But bear in mind, when you format your card, you will lose your pictures. Yep. Unless you use recovery software or come to a company like us that can do recoveries. But once again, like formatting is like nuclear option. Nuclear deletion isn't it's it as gone. well so um unless you work really hard to get it back so format is one of those things it, it's pretty it's a very severe yeah clear so and but if you're wanting to keep i mean it's like a 
I almost see it as like a spring clean. Yeah. So typically my my memory cards stay in the cameras that I'm using. So I don't use formatting a lot. But every now and again, I'll go, oh, it's been a while since I formatted it. And that just helps set like the folders in the yeah. right place and clears any of that residual data that recovery software is doing in, com in computers. Yeah. Macs have this thing of, putting of adding things and, and stuff. Just yeah. speeds up the process a little bit. So that's something to um, consider. Um, oh, thank you, Martin. That's very kind. Uh, great shot. Um, Gary Eisenhower still has XD cards. Gotta love an XD card. Yeah. One, two, eight, two, five, six. That a whopping one gig. Oof. Yeah, I think. Uh, Must like, have been a big spender back in the day. One, one gig cards XD are actually quite a sought after now. Yeah. Uh, and fetch a, fetch a pretty pen, penny on. Pretty penny. On online Ooh, auction a sites. Mew 4, 2003. Four megapixels. <laughs> That's a lot of megapixels. There. Oh, my life. Of course you have, David. Eight megabyte, megabyte smart media <laughs> in a Fuji MX 2900. Yeah. Wow. Does anybody have a digital camera that had a floppy drive in it? Do you remember those? That is going a back. A whole three and a half inch yeah. floppy disk. And it was, what were they, 1.8? six megabytes yeah i think they rounded it to yeah. a 1.5 mb yes yeah, it was you know what they said on the the cartridge <clears throat> you remember that click noise <laughs> as it whirred around um oh yes coming on to david's point speed now because we wanted to speak about this so if you don't care about the numbers yes um if you're a landscape photographer arguably you probably don't need to worry about speed too much yeah uh capacity might be more useful if you're taking large raw shots yes and you want quite a lot if you're bracketing etc so you might want to spend money on the capacity rather than the speed potentially yeah and um, but the speed probably isn't going to matter too much whereas if you're a sports photographer wildlife photographer maybe a street photographer yeah um anything where you need or you're taking a lot of pictures in short succession and you will need the speed because if a camera takes, you know, 10 pictures or 20 pictures or 30 pictures and hits its buffer, then the speed at which it can um, get rid of the pictures in its buffer onto the card yeah. are dictated directly by how fast the card is. So the faster your card, the faster it'll get it on there, and then it means you can take more pictures. Yeah. So if you've got a camera and you go, and it stops, and it takes a long time before you can go again, you need a faster card. Yeah. If that happens to you a lot, just... You need to invest in <laughs> yeah. a better card. You, you, need a, um, you need a faster card. So speed does matter when it comes to photos, when it's being used um, for lots of burst shots, um, especially if you're taking RAWs in burst or yeah. JPEG RAW in burst. And I think that's where, for photography, <clears throat> you know, if you're doing RAW and JPEG at these <clears throat> newer, faster sort of frames per second yeah. that's potentially where you need to look at yeah the, definitely and uh, if you're faster speeds and also if you are a professional um sports photographer and you need to get your cards off very quickly yeah. then a fast read speed is very useful to get your shots off onto your computer to send off to your editor or whatever. yeah because it's not it's not only just how it goes into the camera it's <clears> also how it gets transferred exactly. onto the computer isn't 100 percent. and then also um but that's to say also that speed is entirely up to you because um, we quite often ask people when they want to buy a memory card for their new camera or the camera they've got, do you want to do video? Yeah. No, then you can probably get away with a cheaper camera. If you're just taking snapshots of like your family, your holiday, yeah. nothing's moving terribly fast and you only want to take one picture of it and not a million, then buy a cheap card because you don't need to spend the extra money. But if you want that speed, then yeah. I, I would argue you probably – as long as it m matches what your camera can achieve, then the more money you spend on a card, arguably the better. Yeah. In terms of the speed, um, it does make a difference for that. And it removes a lot of frustration. Yeah. <laughs> and that, oh, I almost got that bird splashing into the water and then it buffered. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I do a lot of like pictures of my kids and stuff like that. And Dexter. So, and Dexter. <laughs> but potentially, I'm not taking the pictures uh, fast on my camera. But I really like having a fast card so I can get them onto my computer <clears throat> sort of nice and quick yeah. uh, because I can be quite impatient that I want to see my pictures. <laughs> so uh, having a fast card also <clears throat> helps with 
uh, with that as well. Definitely. Cuts out that impatient of waiting <laughs> for your pictures to come across. So the other David, David Metcalf, says, uh, David Yeoman, you should come on one week and keep these two in line. <laughs> I think that'll have to be every week, to be fair. Yeah. But maybe we'll have to set up. Um, we are going to do an interview with um, David Yeoman. He has agreed as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, can't escape it now, can you, yeah. David? <laughs> and then uh, we, should, we should do some technical spots with him as well, because he's a very clever man. Yeah. A lot cleverer than us, anyway. That wouldn't be difficult. No. <laughs> That's not a, a bar to hit, is no, it? Really. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, right, we, we spoke about Anne's, about the CF cards. Uh, we spoke about Andrew's. Um, yeah, and we just touched on what Alex said as well about the copies. Um, yes. Even Sandisk admits that. Oh, that was it. Sony Mavica, and it was 1.44 mega uh, bytes on the floppy. We're back to the floppy disk. Yeah, now. Steve Davis. Yeah. So, so Steve Sony... Davis has got quite a cool collection of old yeah. cameras. Clearly, old digital cameras. So. so, Sony do a lot, don't they? They've done a lot with yeah. like trying with <clears throat> with different things. And <clears throat> now, Andrew Howe. Hang on a second. I'm not old, and I remember the micro drives. Because I mentioned those at the top of the yeah. video. I, I I had a micro drive. Unless we're getting old. Oh, no. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, That's brilliant. Oh, a MacBook PowerBook. Oh, a Mac PowerBook, sorry. Getting it right. I bet it does away a ton. I love old Macs. I've got 10, 12. You've got, yeah. My wife always. And the this. towers and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff like towers, that. Yeah. I've got the original iMac. The Sunflower iMac. Is that, have you got like any colours on it? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got the orange and the turquoise. Oh, so colour. good. The that Sunflower iMac was white. Oh, it's so nice with a stainless steel arm. Oh, oh, Check yeah. out yeah. the iMac, the Sunflower <laughs> iMac advert. It's yeah. great at the end when it, the floppy drive sticks out. I, 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 I sort of urge on the side of caution talking about Max with you because I think we could go in for oh, a, yeah. for another hour. We should we? do that. We should yeah. talk about Max on the does, no, does, does, no. <laughs> I think we'd bore everyone because well, both of us are quite Macky, aren't we? Yeah, as well. yeah. We can Steve get would love it. it. Steve, Steve would love it. Mac. Well, we'd have we'd have one person. Steve's one of the reasons anyway. I'm obsessed with Max. <laughs> um, he had one. I think we've covered everything that we wanted to cover on memory cards. I think so. Does anybody have any more questions about yeah. memory cards? I mean, you can definitely drop them into the comments and we yeah. can certainly answer them um, sort of after this live yeah. stream has finished as well. So you can always add comments and we can always get back to you as best we can. There's other ways of contacting us as well. So you can always give us a call on the telephone number that you're seeing behind Ooh. us here uh, and also via email as well. So you can get Which a hold is of not that. Is it not? It should be sales. It should be sales, <laughs> right? Well, the Sharpie will be out for next week and we'll get that changed over. Hey, we're going to change our studio. Yeah. When we get time. We are. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I know. It's going to be great. Yeah. We're going to get some mood lighting, maybe. Yeah, we're going to, lights. going to improve on our lighting and try yeah. and improve on our sound a little bit as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. And um, what else? We... Wingback chairs, maybe? We're really <laughs> yeah. wingback chair. <laughs> I think we should go to the antique shop. Yeah, definitely. And, and a nice old table. But hopefully there'll be lots of lots of things coming. Um, yeah. Because we want to keep going with uh, Photography Out Loud. Uh, hopefully people seem to enjoy it. We seem to get good feedback from it and stuff like that. So, Oh, uh, could you arrange an interview with Duncan? Which Duncan? Duncan. Duncan. Uh, oh, you, you might have to elaborate a little yeah, bit on that, I'm Andy, for us. Uh, I'm sure there's a punchline coming here oh, somewhere. Yeah, in probably. Oh, uh, dear. Have, have I opened this up to a punchline? <laughs> dear, dear. What an amateur. What an amateur. Um, and then we've got... Oh, fix it in post. We could, but this goes out live. Yes. Yeah. It'd be easier to write <laughs> sales on my hands <laughs> and just hold it like this. So maybe that's what you should do. Get a tattoo. Or oh, just just hover it over. Yeah. <laughs> that's fixed in post. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, get photos off the eMac if you can help. Give me a shout, Gary. I might be able to because I have an eMac. Yeah. And I have FireWire 400, 800. <laughs> I think your uh, your uh, Y collection is almost as impressive that's as your Mac collection. It's ridiculous. My wife doesn't like it. She doesn't like <laughs> moving house. So I had so much rubbish to move. Um, and if I don't have it, I have a, a few friends that might have it. So, oh yeah, um, that's a Mac versus line, PC. <laughs> don't go there. Never ending debate all day. There, we all know Mac could win. <laughs> there we are. <laughs>
And, As and, North Wales' most popular duo, you could officially call it PJ and Duncan. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, we've, we've discussed this before. <laughs> Andrew said, your Sharpie doesn't appear to be live. <laughs> Yellow post-it note, there we are. But Paul and I are very pernickety about our colours. Yeah. And if the yellow didn't match, we'd be getting very, has very be, annoyed. It has to be the right Pantone. Yeah, that's true. We could probably reprint one of these. Yeah. Because well, we have our big we have the printer to do it. We have the power. Yeah. Thor. <laughs> the power of thunder and lightning to get it done. Um I think that's oh, micro SD is a thing. You normally get an adapter with it. That's something we should probably quickly mention. Yeah. Because they're very popular in action cameras like the GoPro and the DJI Osmo Action. They're very popular for drones like the DJI yeah. um Mavics. Yeah. So uh, a lot of Airs, the, minis. Yeah. So anything that's typically very, small and needs the lightweight of uh, yeah. of a particular card. And that's where the micro come with the adapter. Yeah. So you can actually use it in your camera if you really need to. Yes. And so that's not a big issue. S speeds don't aren't often as high though. So no. Uh, but once again, the terminology is the same with them yeah. as well. So uh, once again, you're looking out for you know the capacity that you want and whether it's like a. a a class 10 yeah. or v30 v60 uh but they're typically the things that you're going to be looking out for yeah. when buying micro sd cards or sd cards so and hopefully that all made sense hopefully it did and um, we weren't told we were wrong too often no that was quite impressive yeah. i expected far more telling off for that mm. but people might go away Roy do the I. research <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and find come back and actually... tell us next week you're complete and utter idiots yeah um and telling us what we already knew yeah and <laughs> what are we doing for next week have we got any ideas for next week well, we've got well we've got we've ideas got all the time haven't yeah. we but it's me the problem is with this lockdown thing we like to do our interviews live yeah or the pre-records even though quite yeah. difficult when you can't get people so we've but we've, we've got some ideas we've got sure. some things lined up uh it'd just be because we're trying to something. work on the virtual show for the yeah. winter as well which so there might be a break uh, out and a sweat at the moment yeah I, oof. <laughs> i'm gonna feel the heat soon on that <laughs> yeah. one uh, any final thoughts before we break up for the weekend joel oh we need more cameras hey what do you mean for this oh i agree with that yeah or does he mean more cameras in the shop we've got quite a lot of cameras we've got quite a lot of cameras in the shop say. so and i don't need any well that's not true. I could always do with more cameras, but I don't think my wife would be too happy. Yeah. My office is already very full. So all sorts of technical. I, I think we can get a multi view in here on the go, which would be yes. quite good. We we yeah, we're looking into that because we're quite tempted by a black magic atom. Yeah. And so you might see another little Device. thing on, on, on the on the table. Yeah. <laughs> at some point. So you know, boys and their toys. Yeah. <laughs> And on that note, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, it's been wonderful seeing your comments live. Yeah. Everything always does help. Uh, if you haven't done already, please make sure that you like the video. Likey. Likey, likey. Sherry, sherry. <laughs> and don't forget to sherry, sherry as and well. And subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> yes, Alex, we do need more cameras for this. Yes. Yeah, we're going to make that happen. Yeah, I, th I think so. Because um, <clears throat> once again, me holding up something like this, you, you can't really see what we're doing. So be nice to have a camera sort of up there looking down yeah. or maybe a zoomed one coming oh, we in. should do one where it's through like glass or personal. Oh, don't get them started that'd be great oh we could do like head cams i'm gonna end it no you're not gonna end it that'd be boring <laughs> thank you very much everyone uh everyone have a have very weekend. good weekend you didn't ask me what i wanted to say this weekend i said any final thoughts oh do you want to no i just wanted to say have a great weekend and enjoy talking about memory cards <laughs> and why Macs are better than Windows. You're gonna you're gonna start an argument. Hopefully, now, but do it in our <laughs> comments. All helps. Everyone have a good weekend. Bye bye Cheers. for now. Bye now.